policy, civil servants, but others in the policy ecosystem are increasingly interested in using design approaches, both to understand citizen or user or public perspectives, but also to try out early ideas early on. Policy Lab has been working with uh, design students for many years now to basically get a new perspective on some very kind of entrenched policy challenges. We often in lab want to do design work, but we're kind of limited by deadlines or by policy thinking, whereas we can open that up really easily with the young people. The kind of the basis of our idea relies on primary research we collected. So we looked at um, who in our families and our immediate circles was receiving care. And the most notable one that stood out to me, my uncle uses a robotic arm to help my grandma. This robot is very specific and clunky, so we've wanted to kind of broaden it and make it suitable to care for every kind of caring scenario because the list is quite infinite. With a project of this type, there's a real complexity, depth and nuance to the issues that we're working with. So by working with external collaborative partners, it presents a lot of interesting challenges which the students can work with and it kind of promotes them or encourages them to channel their energies towards new kinds of thinking and new kinds of outcomes. And I think what you get from the students as opposed to from an agency is a kind of rawness of thinking, a breadth of diversity of voices from very different global perspectives as well. Purposeful design is something that I really, really want to be part of and creating something that I know can help people and have a positive impact is something that I'm interested in. Working on this project was something that I felt um, really like passionate about doing um, because that's part of my ethos is to like help people with the design that I create. Design in itself is inherently political so I think it's really important to recognize that and there are so many ways in which designers can address social challenges and you know, one of those is the way in which DWP works. Through design we can sort of not only conceptualize new ways of being but also communicate them and in doing so stimulate thought that leads to debate and new ideas.